Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you can see, there's a lot of rust going on in this rear quarter panel as well as the driver's side. So I figured I'd make a video addressing this matter. I'm gonna be attempting to do the cut and fold method. So stick around. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave some comments. Definitely appreciate you guys. So let's go ahead and try to tackle this. Whew, I don't really have that much material to play with because uh, on YouTube videos and even on forums, I see where their lower quarter panel, they have a lot more material to play with, but I only have about maybe an inch in some spots. So I'm just wondering how this is going to play out, hoping that I don't run into any issues, which most likely I am, but you know, it is what it is. Another thing I'm trying to figure out how in the hell am I going to go ahead and get this cutoff wheel in there? Huh. This is going to be a good one. All right. So I'm back at it. Um, here's where I'm at. So I went ahead and with the angle grinder with a cutoff wheel i went ahead and i notched this all the way up towards this body line almost still got to go a little bit higher and then notch this uh in towards the very end a little bit and i'm having some issues cut in the back as you can see because i am supposed to go all the way up up to about this line and then cut straight across I'm thinking of uh, bending this in and then this side, which I mean, there's really not much material there, to be honest. I mean, I did the same thing. I, I cut here. I cut this straight across. Um, but I'm having issues, like I said, with the angle grinder, cut off wheel. I'm unable to really get in there. I'm currently working. I work from home, for those who don't know. So I'm like taking breaks here and there. I got it pretty much a little out but it keeps um like the head of the ratchet keeps getting caught and it appears that the bolt is already starting to um kind of strip i don't want it to get worse so what i'm gonna do i'm not gonna be using this bumper anyways obviously i'm gonna be getting a new one so i kind of drew a line from that bolt straight up so like up here is where if you guys can see on, like up here is where that bolt inside is so i'm just going to cut a window so i could just put the socket and crank them out so same thing for that side guys so there you have it i went ahead and i removed the entire rear bumper so uh, now i'm gonna address the four bolts right there there's one top one right one bottom one left same thing on the other side i went ahead and i already did the cut and fold on the passenger side i went ahead and i took a flat disc and i kind of rounded out some of the rough edges not sure if you could tell, but I will go ahead. I still got to cut this lip off and do the cut and fold on the fenders as well. But I will go ahead and I will paint, I will pretty much sand this down a little bit and then I'll probably throw paint just on this little section right there. This 
is where I'm at so far. I went ahead and I cut this one. As you can see, you can move it. And then I cut it, pretty much cut it from the back. Cut a straight line. Now, one thing to note on the driver's side, uh, there's going to be this little shield. That's for the fuel tank, the tubes. Uh, these are a, I believe, a 10 millimeter. Yeah, a 10, size 10. So you're gonna go ahead and remove this because it is attached to this uh, panel over here. There's two bolts here. And then there is two more over here, which one of them, it looks like it's being blocked by a piece of, sh of metal. So yeah, just gotta remove those four bolts. And then I'll be able to cut this a little more and then start bending everything up. All right, so just a little quick update. <clears throat> this is what I've done so far. I did a relief cut right there on the inner uh, wheel well. And then I pretty much hammered it back in. I'm going to do the same on this side. And then I'm going to maybe cut about a, maybe like an inch. At least cover everything and almost touch the other um sheet of metal over here on this other side and then I'll just cut an even line across on this side and then just bend it bend it over all right so stand by on that all right guys so that's the finished product on the on the driver's side sorry I wasn't able to really record much uh, reason being I kind of sliced my finger open with the cutoff wheel so I decided to just not really record um, until after I was finished. As you can see my hand is still taped up a little bit. I was wearing gloves, but these gloves that I had obviously didn't do a good job protecting me. But there you have it. Not the straightest, but it'll it'll do. It'll manage. Um, I am waiting on some parts from Rusty's where it ties in right here it's like um i guess if you want to call it like a body armor so it pretty much ties in here and then it bolts in the bottom as well i was i was looking at pictures for the installation on that specific product and what they do is they actually just cut everything completely they don't even do a cut and fold and then they just mount that on but i decided to just to add a little extra maybe layer or protection from the elements as far as like rain getting in there or dirt. I figured I'd still do the cut and fold and then install that over it. I'm still not done. Still have to grind things, grind it you know, down a little more. As you can see, there's parts that are still rusted and still there's parts in the bottom. Can't really tell. Let me see if I got the light. But there's parts in the bottom, obviously as you could tell they're rusted, so I'm going to try to address that before I completely finish it off. That's pretty much the cut and fold method for the Jeep Cherokees. There you have it. Cut and fold. Much better. Alright guys, make sure again, hit that thumbs up. Hit that like. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Until next one, take care guys.